All right, Tim, potentially a bit of a controversial one here, so do <laughs> not get this wrong. This is vital. Oh. Ooh, all right. Do you think that the Radeon RX 7600 will be dead on arrival, just like the RTX 4060, since uh, it too will most likely have eight gigabytes of VRAM uh, due to its 128-bit wide memory bus? Hmm. Well, I mean, this is... <laughs> Depends on the price. Yes, that's exactly what it depends on. If it is priced at two hundred dollars, winner. I'd probably say it's not dead on arrival. If it's three hundred dollars, dead on arrival. Mm, yeah, certainly very questionable. Very questionable. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. What are they doing? Dunzo. Have to question AMD's thinking there. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it really just comes down to the price. I mean, last generation we saw RDNA two mid range cards, mainstream cards launch it. Prices that were too high, but then uh, over time they fell to much more acceptable prices. And I think what was it? The sixty six hundred launched at like three hundred over three hundred dollars, or was it three hundred dollars? It sorry, the RX sixty six hundred. What was the MSRP on that? Was it three twenty? Oh, yeah, I want to say three thirty. But nowadays you can buy them new for two hundred dollars, which is great. So you know, with AMD sort of doing this thing where they're setting prices really high so then they get terrible negative reviews. It's a good and strategy. over time, it gets the prices lower. And like, then psych. <laughs> yeah, and then no one recovers it, so the perception's always bad for whatever reason. Uh, if that happens, maybe that would be okay if they launched it at $300. But as we said, eight, for, even forgetting 8 gigabytes of memory, a card like a, a 7600 should be a $200 card. Mm. So... If it had eight gig of memory, that's kind of even just like restricting it's it. To cemented it as yeah. being, needing to be that. Because if they make another like seventy five hundred XT that's as bad as the sixty five hundred XT, that card should be like fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean that's pricing these days, isn't it? It's like it all hinges. You know, it hinges on. We don't know what price tier they're going to price these products. It could be r- completely ridiculous, or it could be really fair, and that really makes you know all of this argument, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, but certainly. Four hundred dollars dead on arrival. Three hundred dollars probably dead on arrival. Um, but yeah, I yep. guess competition as well plays into it, doesn't it? Makes it hard to say it's dead on arrival if the three hundred dollar competition is a a forty fifty with six gig of memory. Especially like if on the second hand market, you can't buy something with more than eight gigabytes of VRAM for that price with similar type yeah. of performance. I mean, right now you can definitely on the used market buy a twenty eighty Ti for under four hundred dollars used which has 11 gig of memory. And I think you can get those like $380 on average. So that's $400 is well out of the question. Yeah, 6700 XTs would have to be pretty low as well, right? Yes. Well, even a 6700 XT new is like th- under 400 these mm. days, 380 350 mm-hmm. You have to check my pricing video for the updated information on that. But yeah, I mean, if we're talking $350 for a 6700 XT new, then $300 is like, so we'll answer that question with a potentially dead on arrival. 